way more YouTube-y. I don't know. Who knows? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. Today's topic is something we have discussed in the past, um, and that is, of course, summer intensives. But I know they're coming up very, very soon, and a lot of you have asked me to sort of do a second video, expand upon them, so that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully I will tell you things you have not already heard in the previous two. I will link them up in cards. The one I did two years ago, which was kind of the overview of summer courses, my tips and tricks, and then last year's was the summer course packing video. If you missed that, both of those are up there. Um, there's a giveaway in one of them. Obviously, that giveaway has ended. I encourage you guys to watch those. Um, so today I just wanted to kind of dive in a little bit deeper about your summer intensive. And these tips can kind of apply to anybody taking classes anywhere this summer. It doesn't have to be at a big summer course, whether you're just taking open classes, you know, all these tips can apply to you to help you have a better summer and help you really improve. So the first thing I want you to do is literally take one class at a time. Um, and what I mean by that is don't get so overwhelmed with if you're in a big summer course, say I have six, you know, four classes today and four classes the next day and four, you know, that can get very, very overwhelming and you can kind of tire yourself out mentally before you even start. So I really think you should just say, all right, this is the one, one class right now. What am I going to work on? What do I want to improve? What have my teachers been saying all last year that I really need, need improvement with? That's what you should focus on one class at a time, literally one step at a time. Don't even worry about, oh, I hate Petit Allegro, you gotta get to Petit Allegro. One step at a time, please. Focus on your placement, focus on your turnout, you know, focus on using your muscles, warm them up, and then keep going like that throughout class. So that's tip number one, is take one class at a time, especially if you were in a summer course with 14,000 classes all piled into five weeks, um, you can get really, really overwhelmed. The second tip I have, and this is not something I've talked about before, your first week, really pay attention to what corrections you get. Because remember, these teachers don't really know you. Maybe that you've never had them before, maybe you've never been to this school before, and even if you've seen them before, they've seen you a year ago. They haven't seen you recently. So the corrections they give you during the first week are the things you need to work on the most because those are the things that are standing out to them right away, especially teachers that don't know you. For example, if you are, if they say, oh, you need to turn out here, turn out here, without having known you before, without having taught you before, or without maybe having taught you in a year, that's the first thing they noticed. So the, the corrections you get week one are the things you need to work on the most. And that's for anybody taking any kind of classes. Um, if you're coming down to take class with me, um, this June here in Alabama, I, I will put that link below. Um, if you're coming down to take classes with me, pay attention to what I tell you week one because I might not know you or if, you know, some of you I know at the school here haven't seen you in a while. So those are the things that stand out to me the most or those are the things that will stand out to your teacher the most. And that will give you a lot of great feedback. Oh, they noticed that right away. You know, that's something you have to work on. So week one, is really, really important. And then from there, you keep improving and they start to nitpick because they start to get to know you a little better and they'll find extra things to maybe have you focus on. But week one is really, really important. Another thing I wanna talk about that people tend to kind of have a whole thing over are the levels. What level I was put in? What level was I put in compared to so-and-so? She got in a higher level than me. Da -da 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 -da. We all lived it, those of us who went to summer courses, everybody has dealt with levels before. Getting moved up, getting moved down. It can be incredibly frustrating in comparison to, you know, they might promote people for another reason or not. So my advice to you is forget about the levels because you can improve in any level you're put in. You can probably actually improve in a class that's a little bit lower than you might be because you might go back to basics a little bit. So if you think you are at a level that is way too easy for you, oh, I should be at a higher level. Forget about it. It's over. It's done with. Placement class has happened or they've assigned you or whatnot. Go with it. Say, all right, you know what? This might be easier than I think it is, 
but this is my chance to go back to basics. This is my chance to go back to square one and really improve. Um, I remember the summer I improved the most was probably um, CPYB, and I was in a class, I was at the barn. I was actually one of the quote unquote higher levels. I'm not sure how their levels work out now. But all of the summer kids were older and we were all with younger year round kids, which was very frustrating. But the classes were so basic and so technique based and so just ballet 101 that that was the place I really got stronger because I wasn't worried I wasn't doing a class that was all, you know, combination and fast and half time and double time. Blah, blah, blah. We went back to basics and I got so strong and improved so much. Um, I kind of wanted to kill myself by the end of the summer, but I'm telling you, don't worry about your level. The teachers know what they're doing. You might have beautiful artistry. You might be, you know, a very special dancer, but they think, you know what? I think she needs to go back to basics. So I'm going to put her or him in a level that might be a little bit lower. Or if you get, you know, promoted in the middle of the summer course or demoted in the middle of the summer course, know that these teachers know what they're doing and don't worry about the levels. I'm telling you, if you get, if you get wrapped up into who's higher, who's lower, you're going to spend a lot of energy on that as opposed to, all right, you know what, doesn't matter. I'm here to train, I'm here to dance, we're all doing ballet, doesn't matter. And just focus on improving. And I'm telling you, you will have a so much better summer if you don't worry about your level. I know it's hard, I know it can be really frustrating, especially if somebody rubs it in there, you know, in your face, well, I got moved up. And, you know, if you get moved up a level during the summer, just keep going. Don't flaunt it, don't advertise it, just keep going, forget your level. When I was at the SAB summer course, I was like the lowest of a totem pole. So, and then I ended up, you know, being in the New York City Ballet. So don't worry about your level. Another little tip I advise, and you'll kind of figure this out with your class, and you'll kind of, you'll each kind of figure each other out as you go along. I would try and stand in the same bar spot every day. Regardless of if it's in the back of the room, the front of the room, doesn't matter. Because when students do that, if I'm teaching them in a big setting, if I have 50 something people in a class and they stand in the same bar spot every day, that helps me. Oh, that girl, she always stands there. Instead of, I thought you were there and I remember seeing you, and because ballet people tend to be very visual, and so teachers will be able to help you more and correct you more if they have a constant visual of you. So again, I'm not saying you have to be front and center every day, but if you find a bar spot, day one, find a bar spot that you're going to like and try and get there every day. Now don't plow people down and pull a, this is my spot, you know, but if you can stand relatively in the same spot every day, your teacher will start to get to know you better and can correct you more because they will have a constant visual of you day by day by day, or especially if a teacher has you once a week. Sometimes in summer courses, you'll have one teacher once a week. And so you'll technically only have that teacher five or six times. So if you can stand in exactly the same spot every single class, I'm telling you, that will really help you. It'll help them, and you'll probably get more corrections because they'll remember you just by knowing where you are. I want to touch a little bit on diet and food. Um, you guys probably have, what, another three, four weeks before you have to start going to your summer course. Don't use the summer course to, and I said this in the last video, lose weight, gain weight. You know, your summer course is the time, they're, they're called intensives for a reason, you know, intense, intensives. Um, and so I would do my preparation for the summer course starting right out. You know, if you've got three or four weeks to go, be in class every day, be eating healthfully, make sure you're in shape. Um, don't just say, well, I'm just going to chill out until my summer course and that's when I'll really work. Because oftentimes the workload at summer courses is so intense, even if you are a student taking summer classes somewhere else. Summer classes are harder for a reason because you guys aren't in school. You know, during the year, you're in school, you've got homework, etc., etc. Summer is the time to push. Summer is the time for you to really improve your training. And so don't wait till you get to your summer course to start doing that. 
I would start doing that now. I would be in class five or six times a day, uh, five or six times a day, oh heavens no, <clears throat> five or six times a week, good grief, um, five or six times a week um, right now, being in class right now, eating healthfully, you know, don't go on a crash diet right this second also because then if you start eating more when you're at your summer course, you could have the chance to, that all, that weight comes back on rapidly. Um, you know, so this is the time now to kind of do a pre-summer course. You know, give yourself a class every day. Do your exercises. Make sure you're eating healthfully now so that you have a much easier transition later. I used to do that. I would be like on a rampage to get in shape for my summer courses. And then once I got there, I was super in shape. And so I didn't get injured. I didn't, um, you know, have have any issues of I'm not ready for this. Um, I was always ready to go. I would advise you guys to be in as the best shape as you can before you get there. Yeah. Do all the exercises you can. Do your workouts. I would be in ballet class five to six times a week. You can do all of my workouts on here and the exercises I've got on here. I've got turnout and feet and. I don't even know what I have anymore, but they're free, they're on here, please feel free to use them, but don't wait till you get to your summer course to be in shape. You'll be really, really sorry, you'll be extra sore, blisters, it's not going to be fun. The last thing is mentally, mentally be ready for your summer course. Know that there are going to be people you don't like, there are going to be teachers you don't like, you're going to have a bad dance day here and there, we all have, um, and when that happens, know that, all right, I knew this was going to happen, get past it, next class, you know, oftentimes you just have to keep telling yourself, just get through the class, just get through the class, and then, it, you know, you can move on. And that's why going back to the first thing is take one class at a time. Um, if you focus on that, then you can kind of start from scratch every time. You know, erase what happened last class and start afresh. Um, and know that there are going to be people that make you nuts. There are probably people that make you nuts in your ballet classes currently. You know who they are. Um, and know that there are going to be girls and guys like that in your summer course class. Um, so tying back into the, the video I did two years ago, try and be nice to everybody. Make friends. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long summer. You don't have to be best friends for life, but if you have one or two people in your class that you really get along with, you can encourage each other, you can talk about the day with, it's going to be a lot, a lot better. So just mentally know it's going to be challenging, but if you're ready for it and you know that it's not just going to be all wonderful the whole summer course, you're going to do great. You know, just really focus. Focus on what your muscles are doing. Focus on every class, every teacher. Pay attention. Um, you know, the, the standard phrase, even if it's not your correction, pretend like it is and apply it to yourself. Um, all the standard cliches in the book um, and just make sure you're healthy, you're ready. Um, like I said, week one is so important and don't worry about your level. Just focus on you and yet at the same time, be nice and friendly and you're going to have a great, great summer. Alright you guys, if you missed my Spring Favorites video, it's over there. You can click it to watch. Social media links are below. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys and please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know if you like the new format, the Makeup Monday, Technique Tuesday, blah 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 format. I'm really enjoying doing it, uh, so I hope you are enjoying watching it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on Monday.